Okay, today I want to talk to you about building modal windows within web pages. So HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript. How do we create modal windows? Well, first we need to talk about what a modal window is. So I have a sample web page here. You can see I've got a whole bunch of content in the background. And I can scroll up, I can scroll down, the content behind is going there. But I can't actually interact with this content. I can't do things with this content that's in behind because there's this overlay over top of the window and this part right here this div this is the modal window it's when you want to force a user to interact with some component in your web page before they can do anything else so I've made this overlay appear I've got this little div I want them to click on a button or be sure that they read it there we go now it's gone so we're going to talk about how to create these things. Now, I've got the JavaScript hooked up, so when I click on this first paragraph, I'm showing the modal window. And then the user can't get back to that page until they click the close button. All right, so basic HTML. I've just got a whole bunch of lorem ipsum text stuck inside of paragraphs with a heading on top. That's my main content. Then there's two parts to the modal window. There's the div itself that holds your content that the user has to interact with. I picked the CSS class modal, not a reserved word or anything, it's just what I'm calling it. And then I've got another div with nothing but a non-breaking space and the class overlay. Now this class overlay, what it's doing, here's overlay, position fixed, goes out to all four sides with no space around it. It's got a background, which is black, but 80% opaque. So you can sort of see that there's content behind it. You can change this number. You can make it a little bit darker if you want. All right, reload the page. There we go. Now it's really dark. You can't really make out much behind it. So 80% or something around there tends to be quite a good value to use for these overlays. Cursor pointer. Oh, that's something I added, and we're going to talk about how to make the overlay disappear if you click on this. Sometimes you want to make a modal, but it's okay if the user clicks on the overlay instead of just specifically a button or something. Maybe you want to show an image. The person's seen the image. They can click anywhere on the screen to make it go away. So in those cases, I would have the cursor pointer. The modal itself, again, position fixed. I'm using position fixed because... If I scroll the screen, you can see the sidebar moving up and down there. If I scroll the screen, I don't want the overlay to move with the content. If I use position absolute, it would. Same thing with the modal. I don't want it to go off the screen. I want to make sure that it's always front and center. So we use position fixed for both the overlay div and the modal div. The Z index, 100, 200. The numbers aren't that important as long as the modal is higher than the overlay and the overlay is higher than everything else on the screen. If you've got other content that is position fixed, position absolute, you want to make sure the Z index for the overlay and the modal are higher than your highest number so far. Okay, that's about it. Now, for making them appear and disappear, I chose a few class names here. I've got show and hide, and that's what I'm going to use for the overlay to hide it and show it simple as that. And when I click, I'm going to add and remove these classes. For the modal, I decided I wanted to animate it. So if it's off the screen, it's transformed, it's translated by negative 200%. So it's way off the top. And then if it's on the screen, translate y is zero. So it's back where it was originally positioned according to the CSS in here. And then my close button just in here. It's, it's a button element in HTML. I just style it to make it look like a nice flat button. Okay, so we have overlay, we've got modal. Now, with those classes, we don't want the page to load like this, and the modal's already there. We want to get rid of it, so by default, when the page loads, I want the overlay to be hidden, and I want my modal window to be off. So it's off the top of the screen and the overlay is hidden by default. 
Then when I click on the first paragraph, it's showing it. When I click on the button, it's going away. All right, so how do we do that? Come over here, jump into the JavaScript. All right, waiting for DOM content loaded, as always, calling a function called init. All it's going to do is add the click listeners to the first paragraph on the page and then to the close button. Clicking on the first paragraph is going to call show overlay. Clicking the close button is going to be hide overlay. So we'll do the show one first. Show overlay. Prevent default. And if we want, we can stop propagation. Now, showing the overlay, not that important if there's something behind this, but hiding the overlay, when we do that, prevent default, great. You know, if they clicked on an anchor or something, if we wanted to prevent it. But more importantly would be here, stop propagation. So if there was something behind it, we don't want it receiving the click event. So stop propagation is going to help us with that. And then, as I was saying, it's just a matter of toggling those show and hide classes, setting display block and display none. When I'm done showing the overlay, when I'm done hiding the overlay, I'm going to call another function for show or hide the modal. Now, we could put all this code together in the same function. That would still work, but it's always best to break up your functions so that they're only responsible for one specific thing. So, show overlay was clicked. That'll show the overlay. Then we're calling show modal, and the show modal is going to find it and add the off and on classes. Hide modal will remove the off and on classes. And that's really all there is to this. I click, I add the overlays on class to make it, or sorry, the overlays show class and remove the hide class. It appears on the screen. And then the modal, for show modal, we're adding the on and getting away, taking away the off class. So it animates on. When I click here, it's off and the overlay's off. The only other thing that we really have that we could do here would be if we wanted the person to be able to click on the overlay to make everything disappear. And that's quite simple. It's just another click listener on the overlay itself. So we come in, we click here. Now I can click anywhere in this overlay. does the exact same thing. And that's it. That's creating a modal window with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.